I just got off the phone with one of my friends and he suffers from what most people suffer from, self-defeating thoughts. Self-defeating thoughts. Let's break it down. A thought that you repeat, a thought that you give value, you allow to defeat you on your own quest. My friend has been working on a course and he's been doing his due diligence and he's been working on it, but he's been working on this idea for who knows how long. Now, how many people get stuck on ideas and you get stuck on the idea and you get stuck on the execution and you get stuck on the perfection and you get stuck on overthinking and you get stuck on worrying if other people are going to love this, like this, validate this, tolerate this, hate this, and none of that matters. In the long play, none of that matters. What matters is that you get on the other side of self-defeating thoughts. You will not feel, uh, there's this word that I like called freedom. You will not feel a sense of freedom until you get on the other side of self-defeating thoughts. See, there's a whole beautiful world out here, but this world is not going to work for you until you work for yourself. You will never be able to move forward until you stop holding yourself back and self-defeating thoughts. Imagine, imagine you take the fastest runner in the Olympics, male, female, doesn't matter. Take the fastest one. Doesn't matter what race, doesn't matter if it's a sprint, four by four, four by eight, eight by 32, doesn't matter what it is. You have to be in a race against them for your life. Well, before the race even starts, you've already lost because this person is an Olympic level. This is, you know, this is the final boss of a video game. So you've already told yourself that you can't beat them. You have, even though you are up against what may seem like is insurmountable odds, you have already told yourself that you have no chance. If you had to play LeBron James or Kevin Durant in basketball, one-on-one -on -one for your life, in your mind, they're gonna win. And you know, they probably will because they're good. But that's not the point. The point is, is that you have to get out of self-defeating thoughts. The only defeats you should take are actual defeats, are actual losses. And you need those losses. You need to lose. You need to fail. You need to risk. You need to put yourself out there. You need to take chances. You need to take chances on putting out a product if you're an entrepreneur, putting out a product that's not 100% uh, perfect. I remember uh, Elon Musk was standing on stage trying to uh, premiere one of his vehicles. And he was saying, he was like, oh yeah, this, you know, this vehicle is indestructible. He took a rock and threw it through the windshield. Elon Musk, as far as uh, this morning, is the richest person on the planet. That probably, that'll probably change by the time this comes out. The richest person on the planet. Even the products that he creates are not perfect. But what does he do? What does Best Buy do? What does Apple do? They keep experimenting. They keep experimenting. They keep putting themselves out there. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, let me go back to the drawing board. Let me learn from this. Let me put myself back out there. Let me put a new product back out there. Let me put this back out there. Let me put this back out there. They're in what I like to call is action. They are in action mode. They're not in self-defeating thought mode. A lot of us get caught in self-defeating thought mode. We will never free our energy. We will never feel freedom. We will never reach our potential until we get out of our own head. For your energy book, what did I tell you? I said you have to allow yourself to feel that you are worthy. What do you have to do? You have to, you have to go inside of your mind. You have to just sit still for a second. And you have to observe. Where did my self-defeating thoughts come from? This isn't about shame. This isn't about putting yourself down. This isn't about judgment. This isn't about creating a critical inner voice. This is about introspection. This is about true self-awareness. This is about being honest. Where did my self-defeating thoughts come from? Where did they come from? Could have been your mom, could have been dad, could have been grandmother, could have been the culture in which you grew up in. It could have been the state, the country in which you grew up in. It could have just been you. It could have been a past relationship. Okay, now identify that thought, okay? I have a self-defeating thought around money. And the reason I have a self-defeating thought around money is because of something that my mother or father said to me when I was seven years old. Okay, boom, we've identified it now. Now here's what you have to do. Step two is ask yourself, what story do you wanna tell now? Because what we just did, that little investigation is a story. That's a story. So what story do you want to tell right now in this moment? Who do you want to be in 
this moment? Do you want to be a person that supports that self-defeating thought? Do you want to be a person that continues that self-defeating thought? Do you want to be a person that actually believes in that self-defeating thought? Step number three, here's what I want you to do. I want you to ask, what would my life feel like if I didn't give value to this self-defeating thought? You know, you might have a better relationship. You might allow yourself to make more money. You might allow yourself to get promoted. You might allow yourself to be happier. You might allow more love to come into your relationship. You might allow more connection to come into your friendships. You might allow yourself to be a better parent. You might allow yourself to enjoy life more. You might allow yourself to stop being critical of yourself. You might allow yourself to push for those dreams that you've been thinking about you might allow yourself to hit the launch button and get out of the thinking, get out of the procrastination and get out of the constant judgment. You might allow yourself to do that if you ask, what would my life be like if I allowed myself to get rid of these self-defeating thoughts? How would I then show up to my community? Who would I be to my community? How would I make my community better? This isn't just about you. This isn't just about self. Could your community benefit from you showing up as a fully activated, fully aligned, the most powerful version of you? I bet if you challenge these self-defeating thoughts, you would allow yourself to stay consistent with that thing that you need to stay consistent with. I bet if you got rid of these self-defeating thoughts, you would stay hydrated, you would stay motivated, you would stay inspired, you would allow yourself to heal when you need to heal, you will stop lying to yourself, you will stop the faking and the fronting, and you will be real. See, self-defeating thoughts are the reason that you feel unworthy, they are the thoughts that hold you back. So I just want to know, how much longer are you going to allow these self-defeating thoughts to live inside of you? Your mind is saying, keep the self-defeating thoughts. Your soul wants to be free from them. Your soul needs you to be free from them. Imagine, what will my life look like when I get rid of these self-defeating thoughts? And whatever the answer is, do not shame it. What will my life look like when I get rid of these self-defeating thoughts? Oh my God, I'll be a great fucking parent. I will be a millionaire. I'll be the first millionaire in my family. Oh man, I'll have, oh, I'll have great glutes. <laughs> Guys, I'll have the great chest. I'll be chiseled. I'll be swole. I'll be diesel. That's what one of my friends always says. He's like, I want to be swole. Well, what's stopping you from being swole is your self-defeating thoughts, friend. I want to be a recording artist. I just write songs, but I don't go to the studio. Well, what's stopping you from recording your songs is the self-defeating thought that has you comparing yourself to Beyonce. Stop it. Free your energy. We need to hear your songs. You want to be swole? We want to see you swole too. We want to see you in your highest form too. Oh, well, my mom says, you know, that da 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 it doesn't matter what your mom says you're an adult well you know in my family you know da 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 da, da. it doesn't matter what your family tree was you have choices to make in this moment. You have power that is inside of you right now. You have a fire that is inside of you right now. And it's it's literally begging you, it's asking you to be ignited, to be up, to be engulfed so you can singe this earth. You don't have time. You don't have time. You can't wait. Enough planning. You've done enough. You've done enough waiting. You don't have any more. Once you hear this message, you cannot wait. This message is not about waiting. This message is about ignition. You know, we were talking about Tesla earlier and when Tesla, uh, what's his name? Elon Musk, he's sending stuff up into space. I don't know what you call them, uh, uh, space rockets. In order for those things to take off, someone has to hit the button and engines have to work together and fire comes and it pushes and boom, the thing goes up. You need to hit the ignition button of your life. How much longer will you wait? Turn this off and go. Don't listen to any more audiobooks today. Don't listen to any more podcasts today. Stay off the internet. Go do that thing that you need to do. You know what it is. You know what it is. The only people who found this message are the people who needed it. You know what that thing is. So do it. Maybe you can't do it alone. Ask for help. Ask for guidance. 
ask for a mentor. Ask for someone to show you what part of it that you need to be shown so you can do the thing that you need to do because a lot of people are counting on you. I like putting pressure on people, but your whole family tree is waiting on you. Maybe you don't have kids, that's fine. Maybe you do have kids. There's literally an entire family tree waiting for you to launch. How much longer are you gonna wait? How much more time do you think you have? That's what I wanna know. How much more time do you think you have? You think your time is promised? Hmm, that's funny. Humans are so cocky. You think you have all the time in the world. You don't. Hate to break it to you, but I have to tell you the truth because I love you and I want to see you win. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you ignite. I want to see you come and burn this fucking world down with your, with your ignition of what you came to teach us, what you came to show us, what you came to give us. So get out of your head, get out of your ass, get out of your excuses, get out of your ego, get out of waiting and go. Get out of perfection and go. Free yourself. Please, we need you.